from this defense that you you are knocking people out, literally. You're knocking people out of games. I mean, it's worth that's, that's the goal. I mean, people are putting on the film this year, and they're, they're seeing us. We're out there. We're not playing. We're playing for keeps. We're trying to take you out of the game. It's not the coaches telling us, the players, we want to attack. And we just react to anything, anything they do. We figure the harder you hit them, uh, they're going to watch that film. Right? They're going to grunt up a little bit when they catch the ball. What does their, what does their scoring 70 points a game do to you guys as a defense? It makes us be more focused. and we, It makes us know that we have to get a lot more pressure the previous weeks. If we don't, it's just going to be a rerun last year. They're going to just throw the ball. We have a great scheme. We can't pick up what they're doing like we can do against all the other Big 12 teams. They're not running the same. It looks the same, but it's not the same. Their tempo is different than their bodies. Their players are different. They're, I think they're the fastest team we're going to play in, not just the tempo, but all around the board from the offensive line to the quarterbacks, running backs, receivers. These guys are well coached, great players, and they move fast, and they, they don't make mistakes. And I think that's the biggest thing. We can't make mistakes against these guys. Give me a reason why, in your mind, this this year will be different. I mean, why? Because I'm a senior. Like I always say, there's nothing that I can say. It's my last time here. I'm just going to sell out and give it my all. That's, that's the only thing I tell you. The play when you made the tackle downfield. The, down 20, 20 yards downfield when you made a tackle. You're not supposed to do that. I mean, that's really? those, like, like I those said, guards aren't supposed yeah, like to. Like I said, it was just a matter of wanting it. Uh, this year's team wants it. And I, it wasn't something I was thinking about. I just reacted to it. it so happened to, I was running on the field. I made the play. I mean, watched the film, and I was like, man, well, I, couldn't, I didn't even realize what I did until the game was over, and I watched the film yesterday, uh, two days ago. So when, you, us what, when you saw it on film, what did you think? Well, team play. To be honest with you, I'm not being joking about it. It's just a routine play, not just for me, but for all of us. It's just how we think of it. Not no big plays. We're just making a routine play like we're supposed to. I expected to make that. Talk about talk a little bit about. Are you consciously being a leader, or is that just coming? It's something that's happening. It's not something I'm trying to do. It's just me being me. I'm being Shaq. I know if I lead these guys, there's no other better leader on the team than me. <laughs> I mean, as far as mentality, I'm the oldest guy on the team. I've been through the most, you know, I'm a, uh, one of the first JUCO guys, that, or the last ones that got recruited from my class. And it's just about who wants it most, and the guys know how hungry I am, and I'm determined to win. And I got those guys on defense to follow me, and that's all we need. And you say, I've been through the most. Yeah. Tell me a little bit of what you've been through. I've been through a lot. I mean, there's nothing to talk about. There's a lot of stuff that I don't want to talk about. Oh, okay. It's just, just life. You know, I've been through a lot, and, I, and playing football is easy to me. This is not nothing compared to life. As uh, w Without talking about specifics, so has it made you, what you've been through, made you a better person, a better a player? a stronger person. What don't kill me make me stronger. And uh, it just to me, is uh, coming out every day, I look at football different than I did last year. This stuff to me is easier. I'm not saying the game is easy. It's just coming out here mentally, it's easier for me to prepare for anything. Thanks, man. I was wondering about your... Similar lines relationship with, with Keith. We were just talking to him, Keith Patterson. What he did this off season to kind of connect with you guys, because he said if his wife comes to practice or others are seeing practice, they're, they're hollering and they're asking, "Why are you so mean to the guys?" But he's mentioning that they didn't see everything I mean, that you guys just, have been just through. Just because Patterson, he's a great guy. Because Hogerson couldn't do no better with the hire. The guy sits down and talks. I mean, he always tells us he's been through what we've been through, so he understands we're tired sometimes. So they might take a couple reps off or something. He's just a player's uh, coach. I can't. I'm speechless for him, man. That guy is know what he talk about. He give us a, a blueprint of what we need to do, and he tell us guys, and men, if you follow this and you believe in it, this is what we can do. Back in January, he told us we can be, win the Big 12. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't believe it. I'm not gonna sit here and lie, but the more we bought in from January to now, the more I start believing it. I believe it. We can, we can win as long as everybody believes it. We can win. Do you have a story where you connected with him, whether it was him sitting down and talking to you about? So you needing to take more of a leadership role or describing what where he wanted to take this defense. Is there anything from the offseason that kind of sticks out? No, nah, they, they, everybody, all the coaches you know, just wanted me to be a better leader. And I didn't pick myself to be a leader. The players you know, picked me too. So, I mean, that just let me know what the players thought about me. And I felt more comfortable talking to those guys because I know as a team they wanted me to lead versus me just going out there doing it. I felt when I say something about it, the whole team leads. I mean, listen to me because they voted for me. I got no problem doing it. How would you describe Keith on a practice, a typical practice? Coach, <laughs> uh, 
Can you use on and off? He's well, bipolar. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, know, uh, back at training camp, you know, it's just probably just like uh, any typical coach across the country. He was on it, but right now he's more laid back, letting the players do what we know we have to do. If we mess up, he'll be, he's any, uh, just like any typical defensive coordinator. He screams at us, but for the most part, Coach Patterson laid back, talked to us like man, tell us what we need to do, and that's that's the thing, the difference between last year's players versus this. It's the same players, different coach, different scheme, same mindset, and we just bought into what he what he told us. That's why we're successful. We're successful. Did you think it would be like this, though? Nope. Like I just told you, I didn't yeah. expect to be right. like this. Jared Barber. With, with the things he's bringing to us and the stuff we believe in, I think we can do a lot of good stuff.